and this is this is my favorite opening to GTA. I do like I did play three, but I didn't enjoy it as much as this. Now, for some daft reason, they never let Tommy swim. I know it's to sharks if you read the manual, which I still actually have. I've actually got the map in my, literally hanging in my room. I don't have the camera to show you. If I did, I would just point it. Ah, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. See, I do, I've always loved the loading screens. They're always really cruel to me. That's like, I don't know, it's just like artwork. Ah, that's the Lance Vans dance. Wait, I ain't that last. No, I don't remember. <laughs> Been a few years since I played this game. So I probably, if not, got a few facts wrong already. But hey, oh, I'm nerding out. Give me a break. Um, I will be playing for this game. Um, this is actually a game I've been wanting to play, but I've been kind of pulling on the side whether I should or shouldn't. But I think it's 2018. And I thought, you know, wh why not? Just, why the hell not? Whether I complete it or not is a different matter. Because <laughs> I'll forever go be on uh, GTA Vi uh, 5. I was about to say Vive. But hey oh, uh, yes. Sammy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they they'd ever let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great. Hey, well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Ah, okay. there's Lance Vance and his brother. Now, oh, I can't think of his name, but in Vice City Stories, you actually play as him, the one with the, the things, the uh, briefcases. Oh, what's his name? Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. Victor Vance, that's it. Which is a shame to know he actually dies here. One of the few GTA protagonists to die. I believe, actually no, I'm certain of this, the only other protagonist to be confirmed dead is um, Johnny Klebets from GTA 4, uh, bot no, The Lost and Damned, which is the biker DLC, my head out of the gutter for one and GTA 5, where you make a brief cameo. In my face. Go get some sleep. 
What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. I will admit this will be a shorter video, but I will be playing them for... I will be playing them. Aha! The thank you! Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. Oh, there, here's Tommy Facetti. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm jacking you. The Saber Turbo. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City Metropolitan area. Oh, that's right, yeah. Due to the weather, we weren't actually allowed to go to the other side of Vice City. So, yeah, the markers on this game are pink. <laughs> I like how they actually have to clarify. Walk through the front door to the, of the Ocean View Hotel to enter the building. So oh yeah, we can save. This game's actually set in 1986, I believe it is. No, I've... I've actually got to find my own box. What year is this? Uh, uh, yeah, I am right. It's 1986. Uh, save. Yes, we want to save. Ah, uh, um, I'm actually playing this off my PS4. Funny enough. Yes, I have an Xbox One and a PS4. Sue me. An old friend. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was, that was my, my money, money, Tommy. My money! <laughs> you better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'll I'm get your money, Sonny. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get uh, you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Oh, uh, Tommy's awesome. He takes no shit. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because of you. Because we got history, I'm gonna let you have this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. I actually know for a certain that there is actually gonna be full rages in this game, so prepare yourselves. I'm actually gonna pre warn you, I, there is a few missions in this that really frustrate me. So yeah, this is actually uh, our first apartment that we get. Oh, that's pretty cool. In a few years. Oh yeah, that, and that's I remember this. This is actually a reference to GTA. Th yeah, it will be GTA Three. Derp. Uh, the only thing we actually get from here is uh, Tommy's casual clothes. Because unlike in other games where you um, can actually select what clothing you want at a time. You can't in this. You actually select, like, you go to places and you have to choose, like, a skin. Well, you don't choose, you just... It's like the save little icon. And, uh, boom, you save. Oh, wipeout, dude. <laughs> I remember, I can't, I actually forgot you... These older GTA games, how much damage you took? Oh, Jesus. Like, I only took a few hits and look at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's gonna take me a bit to get used to controls. Shit. My driving is actually atrocious. Oh, 
Oh shit! <laughs> oh, he thinks he's hard. He's got a, he's got a little Vespa. <laughs> I am god awful. I'm doing worse than I usually do when I record. Shit. <laughs> that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. We can actually buy property in this game. And actually use it to make our own income. I remember that. Because this was, I think this was the first like game where we can in the GTA franchise where you can do that. I think. So I remember being a kid, uh, believing, like, oh, I can get a new house if I do this. No. Nope. Get some sleep, he says. I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. Oh, shut up, Rosenberg. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up. Sit down. Relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're going to find out who took our cocaine. And then we're going to kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No way, I not I told you, shut up. I'll go myself. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but oh, man. It, it might turn heads on the runway for the wrong What's wrong with his outfit, dude? Hey, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I have a few Hawaiian shirts. I would wear that. I think he is. Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? Yeah! <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth, Tommy. But I will admit, I, the outfit that you do get from this mission, I actually remember uh, many times just going around Vice City just wearing that. I actually thought it was kind of cool, but Tommy's normal attire is pretty dope. I did actually say in the Doomsday I would be visiting Vice City. So, hey oh, I did, I did tell the truth. Eh. Jesus fucking Christ. Give me your clothes, your boat. <laughs> was it your? Give me your boots. Ah, oh, fuck. What's the? Ah, uh, I've not watched Terminator in fucking ages. Thank God. Oh my God. Ah, he's all right. <laughs> well, uh, there he goes. I'm dead now. Like, oh, actually, no, 98. I've only lost two health. That's not bad. Give me your boats, your clothes, and your motorcycle. There we go. <laughs> Did I say boats or boots? Eh. Yeah. Shit, 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 shit! God, I remember how much this was a pain he had to drive. Uh, that's just where we actually meet all like the crime organization. Get off the bike, Tommy. Is that what I think? That's a straight up handgun! Oh yeah, cool. Alex has acquired a gun in the first episode. Whoop whoop! Win win for the moron! I think I want one of these boats. Well, hello there. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. 
<laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia! Swing! Would you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. <laughs> That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star, Candy Sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? Candy nope. Sucks. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent. Lead singer with love, love fest. Can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? It's silence. Let me tell you. I don't know it how to play ping pong. involve a faddle, if you know. <laughs> <laughs> And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. All the of passion with the new four invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, no, you never saw anything like that. What before. the fuck? <laughs> Your party's a devil, a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, oh, they're not, amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. <laughs> oh, I remember this part. You gotta take her to the strip joint now. I think I'll be taking this lovely piece. Ah, the Infernus. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. <laughs> that is actually, I have actually had like a relationship. No, it's like, okay, yeah. And I used to be like, do you want to do this? Maybe. Are oh, you lost? Maybe. <laughs> I've had like the stupidest conversations by doing shit like that. See you around, handsome. Oh, thank you, love. Sure you will. Oh, you will. <laughs> See this good, charming-looking bastard? He ain't get rid of us. Do -do 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 -do. Street outfit delivered to safe house. Oh, that's right, yeah. The fuck? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um. If you have a wanted level back in these older games, you can actually just get rid of them by going to one of those little uh, stars. That's pretty nifty. I didn't actually realize you could do that. Alright, let's save. Coming here. That took me a minute for some reason. It, oh yeah, it is the first of Feb. Jesus Christ! Thank God! With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. We will be playing through the game, and when we do, I hope you enjoy. Because this is just the beginning of our adventures through Vice City and taken over as the the undescrupid, undenied crime lord. Because one, we are gonna do that. Oh yeah, there was sort of a first person mode. Jesus Christ. That's weird to remember. I remember that used to freak me out a little bit. But that being said, we will be taking over Vice City as an undeniable crime lord. I like that. Right. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya!